Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Summersworth High School at the Jim McLean Gym. And we're here for the final game of the 2020 high school basketball season with the uh, Summersworth Hilltoppers versus the uh, St. Thomas Saints. Saints, the Saints of St. Thomas. And uh, final season of this game will determine some of the uh, playoff, some of the playoff picture. And yeah. Bill Rogers here with Ryan. It's How good to Ryan? see you. Thanks. And this is one of the greatest things because this is now senior night for them, and I got to graduate them for this. That's dynamite. So uh, we'll be starting the game uh, shortly, right after our national, national anthem. anthem. And our national anthem will be performed by Olivia Zotos, a greatly talented student here at Summersworth High School. We are ready for action here yep. with the uh, the, the uh, Summersworth team versus uh, St. Thomas. Yep, exactly. And uh, we now got our rosters all set up and done. They are starting our way. All right. Now, um, so w what can you tell us about this, this game, Ryan? Anything particular about well, this? Well, this is a border battle, and I'll definitely give it that because now we are getting ready to go. The tip-off is now in play, and we are starting to, like, we got a nice good view of the student section. That is great. That is great. So, yep. uh, Tipping off will be Luke and... Is our St. Thomas. Yep, and it will be Summersworth ball. Picked off by number 11, Travis Wright. Back to Luke. Right back. Well, I get the, uh, you know, Key is uh, setting up your tempo early yep. on. Here's the shot. Oh, rebound. That was blocked, and I. Wait, is that a foul called? And it will be Summersworth ball. Okay, rebound. Oh, that's oh, it has picked off, but it's now recovered. All right, Jason. All right, true. Wright's got it back. All right, here's David. Here's the shot. It goes in. Perfect shot, and now that was a perfect. David Pico. Yep. All right, back in action here, and... Uh, All right, here we go, the pass. All right, here's number 14, McBride. Passes, passes back, and it's... Oh, it's picked off by Wright. Wright steals it away. All right, here's Travis. 
Here's number 21, missed. It's Luke Montesmith. Yep. All right, now it's, all right, everything's back. Okay, Nick Bryant. And number 31, passes. All right, here's the shot. Whoa, that almost recovered, but, ah, stolen. Stolen by Jacob Hamilton. All right, here's the shot. Nope. As is it? Whoa, that was a big pass. All right, shoot by Ethan Johnson. Johnson again. Nope. And I'm pretty sure it's a foul. And Ethan is going to go to the line shooting two shots. All right. Concentration. Oh, he missed. In and out. Yep. Just in one way. Then one on. Let's see if the second one goes. Oh, he got it. Round and in. Yep. All right, here we go, inbound. Number five of... It's Diego Garcia. Yep. Marching down that sideline. Yep. Right covering him. Oh. Oh, this is getting intense. Heavy defense. Summersworth is really getting their defense up. Oh, oh, and good pick play. He picked Jacob Hamilton just did the pickpocket maneuver, but it's still St. Thomas ball. All right, passes it. All right. So Ryan, something else is there outside oh, That's here. a three. Oh, an air ball, and that goes out. Something I was wondering about the three-point plays. Does uh, Can they have any portion of themselves uh, on the line or outside of the line to qualify for a three-point, or do they need to be fully outside of the, of the line? Well, this is an interesting thing because basically I've done three-pointer shots a couple mm -hmm. of times, and... You've seen that in some of my Unified games, and still we have a lot of good different kind of things. You have to be on the line. Well, So you have to be on the line or outside of the line? Yep, okay. to get the three. If, mm -hmm. if not, you can get a confusion, and that's where tensions grow high. But in the meantime, mm -hmm. let's get back to this play. Okay, here's right. Oh, nice play. Nice by pass. Nice pass. That goes in, David, again. With the PQ. All right. Oh, and now we got some heavy defense going. As now this is going to be interesting. So now, here we go again. All right. Keeping guard. Oh, yeah, this is. Here's a shot. Ooh, Ooh that was good. Yes, he is. Yep. Nice. Slithering through the center. And I think that's an. Oh, and it's an add one possibility. Kind of an instant replay on that one. Yeah. There it is. Nice. Nice. Play. Oh, and now we got substitutions coming in. All right, number 13 just checked in. And we put the. We have the Look at a three-point play. Yep. That free throw. All right. Ethan passes it. Okay. Number five. All right, Ethan again. Here's a shot. Oh, and missed, but I'm pretty sure that's a foul called. As he's going to go back at the line, shooting two. All right, tension. We got it. First one in. It's now tied 4-4. I think. Right. So Ryan, as a uh, as a basketball player, star of the unified team, how much time do you spend uh, just chucking it from the free throw line, or just uh, how much uh, how much time would you say you spend? Well, 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 this is an interesting thing because even though. Unified never does that sort of thing. and don't it's, have many practices? We never have practices, unfortunately. And then 
problems begin to happen when I start doing the free throw line, and I'm pretty sure there was a score that was made. Yeah, I would say that was a score. Yep. St. Thomas. Yep. Bringing themselves, uh, it's a neck and neck here. Yep. One point lead for St. Thomas. So continuing on with my free throws, it's yeah. interesting to say that I don't, even though we have pick up less fouls mm -hmm. or fouls committed, like sometimes like in my senior year, we we didn't have free throws at all. All right, here's a three. Nope. Rebound by Ethan Johnson. Jacob, miss. Nope. Back to St. Thomas. See ya. All right, fourth, four, five. St. Thomas in the lead. All right, here's a shot. Nope. All right, just pass Ethan. Two. Nope. Not a lot of scoring today. Nope. Oh, and there we go. Whoa. Did he seriously hit that? It was a hit. It was a hit and a score. Yep. He nailed it. It's now a four point lead, I think. All right. Get our scoreboard up there. Yep. Here's Ethan. Passes to Hamilton. Oh, he fakes him. All right. Ethan to Luke. Oh. Oh, jeez. And I'm pretty sure that wasn't effective. All right. Go, and I'm pretty sure he passed it out. And I'm pretty, wait, there's a timeout called. Got a little break in this uh, nice, intense yep. first quarter here. Yep, and here we go. Somersworth is on the talk. Thinking of what they could approve on. Did your, uh, did your coach spend a lot of time uh, timing you guys out and, well, and uh, psyching you up uh, there in the, well, this is in the, the huddle? <laughs> you, they, we do that a lot during the end of the period. And not all the time, but basically we, and I got to say, it's a combination between Miss Turcott and uh, Mr. Chick. I got to compliment those two because they've been. Good coaches, huh? Yep, they have. Doesn't surprise me. All right, here we Mr. go. Mr. Chick coaches me as a teacher. We coach right. each other. All right, St. Thomas got it back. All right, here's the play. All right, number 30, has it. 14, Ooh, Nick Bryan, yeah. I'm pretty Ooh. sure he hit it. Yes. All right, here's, whoa, that, and that pass is picked off. And wait, that goes in. Wait, wait, it went in and out, but I'm not sure. Oh, and never mind, they called that a foul. And I'm pretty sure St. Thomas will get the end down. All right, here's a shot. Oh, and that's blocked. Nope, can't get it in. That's another pass. All right, there's a pass. Now almost close to, we have less than two minutes on the clock. All right. There we go. Almost had a double team a little bit. Here's the three. Nope. And Summer's Roof has it back, right? Continues on. All right, here we go. Oh, here's a shot. No good, but I'm pretty sure that's a Oh, it's a foul, all right. That's right, I'm pretty sure. Gonna say, oh, never mind, it's an inbound pass. There's a, whoa, jeez, I thought he was gonna go for the lob. Is, nope, shot misses. Here's the shot three. He hit it. Yep, that was in. He's definitely, I'm pretty sure he was behind the line. Alrighty, Summersworth is trampling, but I'm pretty sure, whoa. And, wow, they call an offensive foul. As that's a charge. 
You gotta be kidding me. That was almost pointless, almost. Well, you gotta bring charges when they're due. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Summers are, all right. St. Thomas gets it back. It's now, wait, there's choosing size. So now it's, all right, number two has the ball. All right. That's Vinny Simonelli. Yep. All right, here's the shot. Nope, that's missed. All right, we got a couple of, it's now less than one minute on the clock. And, whoa, it, did yeah. he seriously throw it out of bounds? No, it looks like that was pushed by uh, St. Thomas because it's uh, still Summersworth ball. Okay, still Summersworth. All right, here we go. Is that three? He oh, hit it! Three. Wow, Jacob hit the three. Man, and they- Hamilton knocking it down. Yep, that's definitely a perfect one. Oh, wait, and- that was uh, tipped by Summersworth, so yep. main remains St. Thomas ball. I thought for a second it was a kickball violation. Uh-huh. Oh, and here's... You can't play kickball when you're playing basketball. <laughs> yeah, point to... Oh, and Ethan with the steal. Jacob, here's the play. Shoots it. It's good. Rocks it. Nice. All right. Here we go. Intense has been going. Oh, and oh, Travis gets it back. And, oh, he, oh, he almost had it. Sneakers are too big. I thought for a second that was going to end up on Shaq in a fall. If you want to know what it is. Tell me. Basically, it's all these sort of things that I've learned from the NBA. And it's based on, based on Shaquille O'Neal. Mm -hmm. But now, since we see a Foolish Plays, we now see it in local basketball programs. Shaq and a Fool? Yep. That's good for three. Oh, yep. That was perfect. Oh, threes. Yep. An eye for an eye. So that'll bring us to the end of this first yep. quarter. Yep, definitely. And now. With uh, St. Thomas up 16 to 9. Yeah, and this is. Yeah, Summersworth has to come back on this because that was just insult to injury almost. Well, you know, you get these, uh, you get these big swings, couple of three-point, uh, three-point plays like that, and you make a lot of distance. Still, this is a good play, and it was like this is now one of the most intense things about this game, because now everything will be getting back, back soon. We will be back as soon as when they get everything back to normal. And now I'm pretty sure they're sign signing off. They'll be ready. Okay, and St. Thomas in the uh, St. leading Thomas us into the second back. Right. second quarter. Shot, whoa. That was not even called as a foul, but still, what a big block by Ethan Johnson. All right. Nice around the perimeter there. Oh, and that's Ooh, but kicked taken off. Away. Oh, and Luke. Oh, and, oh, and they, oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's a, I don't even get why that is a foul at all because it was like he was just about to get pushed off the backcourt but still that's a first foul for Jake. <sighs> Alright, St. Thomas will get it back. It's Nick Guerin inbounding. Yep. All right. Got a nice. Uh, Here's a shot, and it's good by Jimmy Sullivan. Yep. Nice that we have this large monitor here to be able to pick up on some of the numbers a little bit easier. Yeah. Now here in our broadcast yep. headquarters. Here's Luke. Nope. That doesn't go in. All right. Oh, I thought he was going to. Well, it's far for it, but it's not. All right. There we 
go. And it back. You know we're going to cut that. No, no, we don't. We're good. Right. We're good to go. All right. That keeps the right. game flowing. All right, here we go. Shot. Whoa, backwards pass. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be... Oh, man, this is like... They're doing a little bit longer than they should have. Here's a shot three. He hit it. Good. 20 to nine. 20 St. To Thomas nine. up. All right. That's Jacob. 11 point lead for St. Thomas. Yep. See if Summersworth can make up some territory. Yep. Hoping that they would get the score next time. All right. Oh. Oh, that's a play. Oh, that was a good pass. All right, Aiden Hepburn. Here's three. Oh, he almost had it. All right. There we go. Oh, and whoa, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be back to. Wait, what's that? And subs are back in. As it's going to be. Nick Bryan will be inbounding this one. Oh, and, wow, and I'm pretty sure it's, oh, you got to be kidding. Travis Wright, is, uh, they, they, they tag him with that? I'm not sure, no, but I'm pretty, but I'm going to say, I don't even know how, how that happened because I see no foul calls, no nothing. Yeah, it wasn't a foul call. It was just a, Travis got the ball out there. Yeah. It's starting to get intense. There's a shot. Nope. That's not going to go. All right. Whoa. And, a, and they call that a foul, I think. And it is. As Wright is going to go to the line. Shooting two. All No, he's not going to go to front line, but they're going to inbound us. It's going to be a hard way to find, and I'm pretty sure Jacob's got it. All right, right, getting ready for the move. And it's Ethan with the score. Ethan Johnson got it. As now I'm, and wait, I'm going to say that's, now going to be a foul again. It's going to be on Luke again. His second. Yeah. All right. Oh. There's Nick Bryant missed. Oh. Geez, they're really going to go intense. Oh, here's like, the pass. You like the intense. Yep. There we go. Ethan with the shot. It goes. Perfect. Beautiful. Ooh, trying to cross him. Oh. Oh, nice pass. Nice pass. Oh, it's picked, picked off. off. Picked off by David. All right. Here goes right. Oh, Jacob three. Oh, he almost had it, but Luke got it back. Jacob. Jacob Hamilton. Shooting. Nope. He got it. Oh, I'm pretty He's sure. Underhand. Oh, and, oh he got it back. And back, yep. There we go. And wait, what? We got a timeout here. And there's going to be a sub. And Oh, now there's going to be a time. 13 to 20. St. Thomas still in the lead. So how's the play been going so far, Ryan? It's so far going good. I'm pretty sure, Summersworth, if they keep going with the defense, they might have a chance of winning it. Mm-hmm. 
Seven points down right now. Um, I'd say that uh, St. Thomas has had uh, the, uh, I'm not seeing the stats, but it looks like they've been uh, winning the boards so far. Yep. Pretty even, but it looks like I think they might have a slight edge there. Yeah. So far, we're getting a nice good view at the uh, of the of the, uh, the the blue fingers. Yep. <laughs> or also the <laughs> student section. Blue fingers. Yep. Take it to the hoop. Yep. Luke. Luke, number 21, and don't forget David, number yep. 11, and Ethan, number yep. 35. <laughs> and who can forget a nice Facebook or Instagram frame? Yep. What is a game and without we're an Instagram frame, right? Yep. And we're back. At that pass. Oh, it's going back, and that I'm pretty That is still Summersworth ball. I mean, sorry, it's still St. Thomas St. Ball. Thomas. But still, it's a nice view. But th about three minutes, 3.15 yep. in this first half. Yep. There's a shot. Oh, they, there's Back a three. The Ooh. Ooh. That might be where the Ten edge point is. Lead. Those threes that St. Thomas, Thomas keep hitting. making. Oh, and that's. And, we we and foul. they call a foul. And, yep, that's definitely a foul. Yeah, he got whacked there. Which now, and now he's gonna not. Bring Travis right to the line. Nope. nope. It's uh, still no line. Nope. All right. Here we go. Ooh, almost lost it. Now. And here's Luke, shoots it. Oh, he got it. He rolled it over. Yep. That was a nice play. Oh, I think that, I think there's a little bit of sense of gameplay swapping. And no, it doesn't go in. As, wow, what a play. What a play by Jeremy. Jeremy Levesque. Yep. As right, I think he scored it. All right. Oh, they're starting to do crossword passes, and I'm pretty sure somebody got. Oh, and it's back to Summersworth ball as that's going to go out of bounds. <laughs> Look at the dancing in the crowd. These intense fans are really starting to get back at. Oh, and now that's it's picked taken off. Away. That's picked off, and Ooh, that's going right to go back in. At it. All right. Here we go. Right. That's ball. Fakes it. All right. Here we go. Luke gets it back, and it's in. Add one. As Luke's going to go through the line for one shot. And Ethan Johnson is going to be coming back in. Something for David. PQ is out. Yep. Johnson is in. Yep. As now Luke is going to shoot it. Oh, he misses it. So far, the free throws have been half and half. Mm hmm. It's now 19 to 25. It's more than a minute on the clock. The shot, nope, it doesn't go. All right. All right, here we go. Look with this. Whoa, uh, and just yikes, just lost it. Get her through. So with about uh, 50 seconds, it's... Uh, 25, uh, 50, uh, 19 to 15. Yep. As now. I'm oh, sorry, 25 to 19. Yep. As now, I'm pretty sure Summersworth is going to get it back. As Jacob gets it back. All right. Here we go. Sizing him up, and I'm pretty sure he went through the legs. The shot. 
Good. Oh, nice play. Oh, it. Oh, and a loss. And there's a foul called as Summersworth is going to get it back. Now Jeremy's going to inbound it for somebody. And wait. Now it looks like we do have some shots from the line. Yep. Over the limit? Yep. And now Ethan is going to go to the line, which now Wright is coming back in. Oh, and he just missed that one. All right. All right. There we go. It's a play. Oh, and Wright gets it back. He gets it back. Here's the shot. It's good. Wow, that was perfect. Perfect play to size it up. Love those fast breaks. Yep. They actually had more. And now we're at halftime. Wow, what a 21 what a half. to 21 to 25. St. Thomas still in the lead. But yes. however, it's now gonna be halftime. When we get back. Action packed, first half. And we'll catch you after a few minutes. Maybe less, because we can compress time. We're the masters here in the media department. Mm -hmm. As now, all right, and everything's back as now they're warming up. So going into this second half, it's uh, St. Thomas is, is up by four points, 25 to 21. And uh, Correct. I imagine we'll have a, uh, a packed second half given that uh, yep. packed and first And they just half, finished actually. warming up as they're gonna get ready back in action. Great. Those are getting their, their charges, their orders for the second half. Yep. And ready for action. And it's gonna be Summersworth ball. So, right will get. Travis Wright inbounding for yep. this, opening up this second half yep. in the last game of the 2019-20 basketball season. Yep. As now we're getting some blog views. Yeah, I'll have to go to our other And now camera. it's a score as that goes in. This is a, uh, a student tradition to stand up for the second half, which uh, is great unless you're the camera operator behind. Yeah. The people who like to stand <laughs> up for the second half. Oh, definitely. But like that energy, way to yep. go, guys. We also, I'm pretty sure people always call it the student section. That's yeah, okay, well that makes sense, where the students are. Yep. Which now I'm pretty sure there's a foul called as that's not gonna ah, be. Ah, so Summersworth starting the second half. And it's gonna Coming be. back in, just down by two points right now. It's gonna be number five shooting at the line. Oh, this is, uh, that was St. Thomas yep. with that. So did we, uh, did they, did we put the score up in the wrong place? I don't think we have, but. Zipper so missed a shot, but he got it back. As the league's back. It's now still St. Thomas with the lead. All right, here we go. Here's Ethan Johnson, got it back. That was perfect. Put a slow-mo on that. Totally was worth it. As now Ethan is gonna go back on the line. As now we got more subs in. Well, just one. Shot, got it back. Bingo. All right. All right. Crossboard pass. Oh, here's the shot. Oh, that's. That is rejected immediately. There's the pass, David, with the shot, it goes. Ooh, totally had it right. right. Pass three, he Locked hit it. Down. All right, 
One point lead for St. Thomas at the shot misses, but oh, and now it's a tackle. Yeah, that was definitely one of the. And they're gonna say it's gonna be called against St. Thomas, even though. All right, Ethan's got it back. Oh. And that's gonna still remain. It's gonna be remaining Summersworth ball. All right. David PQ being directed by the ref. Yep. All right, Luke to Hamilton. Takes the three, shoots. David, get it back. Yep, that's how you do it. Just a perfect line, wide open, perfect. Oh, here's the shot. Oh, and that's a foul as, yikes, that is not how you want to foul like that. Just tried to attempt to get it, but it just didn't went well. As now, number 30, uh, Jimmy Sullivan. Yep, he's gonna be going to the line. Shooting two. It's the first one, he got it. He uses their, uh, their ace in terms of the free throws. I think that he, uh, uh, to, to not a hundred percent. Not 100% sure how, but he got it again. As wait, now they gotta get it back inbound. Okay, there we go. All right. Everything's going well for Summersworth. Their plan is perfect. Oh, they almost lost it. They got it back. All right, here's the three right. Nope. Luke got it back. Nice rebound. Right? Yep. Luke again. Oh, he missed it, but that doesn't go. by Ethan Johnson. He's got strength and yep. height to tap that back. Speaking about that, it. Summers were missed. Well, St. Thomas now missed again. All right. Luke. Oh, that's three. Oh, he almost had it, but David gets it back. All right, Ethan. Whoa, oh Perfect, wow. wide open. And now St. Thomas is called timeout. So how's it going now, Ryan? What do you think? Well, this game? well, this is now Summersworth is leading by one point. They may have a chance of getting this one to the books. It has been a good, good back and forth game. Yep, it has. So in this, uh, in this yeah, we're about two thirds of the way through the game. Yep. I've been getting good even production from the, the Hilltoppers offense. Yep. And uh, we're getting, getting ready for a little bit more. And it's the gonna be St. Thomas Fall. As now they're getting ready to get it back. Oh, they're starting to do this old tactic. The crosswork pass has been, been insane. There we go. Passing it. Right. Well, that's, oh, and, and that's gonna be Summersworth ball as that was, and they get it back, which the crowd is just liking it. All right, there they go, Jacob. Best, but he got it back. Oh, and it's back to Luke's hands. All right. Whoa, and Ethan Johnson. Oh, hit. man. Yep. That was a good foul. I thought he was going to go in for the slam, but I got to say, that was a good play. As Ethan Johnson will be coming back to the line, shooting two. All right. Let's see if he can hit this. That's not gonna go. It's still a very close game. As Wright is gonna be sitting down. All right, yep. Oh, I missed both free throws. 
Very unusual. As now I'm pretty sure. Wait, I'm, I'm not even thinking of what it is, but I'm pretty sure there's a foul called. St. Thomas will get it back. Man, these fans are really holding up those <laughs> signs like they don't mean it. <laughs> and nope, that doesn't go, but it gets it back. Yep. Jake McDuff hits that shot. It's a last, which now increases the lead to St. Thomas. All right, Luke. Oh, he faked him. He just did the old post move. Perfectly done. But now Summersworth gets it back. All right. Here's a three. Oh, and it's good. That was hard. That was hard to get down. Here we go, two point lead for St. Thomas. Play, perfect pass. Right here's Luke, got it. Ties it back. This is just the end of the sentence. The fans <laughs> keep whispering. We need a blue screen to see yeah. through that. But yeah, but well, we can't. As David gets the steal back. Here we go. Plays it in. As David, three. He got it. Perfect three. Made it in. Puts the Hilltoppers up by three. Now. Summer Surf has finally taken the lead. It's been back and forth. Play. Ooh. And they call a foul, and it's going to be on Luke. Ugh. That was not a good foul. Right. Looking good. Yep. Now got more substitutions coming in, and now St. Thomas will get it back. Inbound. Play. Right. Pass. Long sideways. All right. Concentration has been mounted in, and it's picked off. Picked off, here's the shot, it's good. That was made in add one, and was scored by number five. That is Aiden Heffer. Yep, 40, can he get, four, can it be 42 to 36? And he's got one more shot on the line. Here's the shot, it's good. Got the free throw in, four fouls each. Now this is going to be one intense thing. Right. Concentration. Oh man, this is a hard summer for defense. Trying to hope that they would get a win. Right. Diego Garcia. Yeah. Play. Three, here's the shot, no, and that's, oh, and I think that's going to be a foul committed, which now, this goes now to the team limit, I think, which now I'm pretty sure he's going to shoot three. No, I guess it's still hard. Nope. Still side. Still side. Sidelines. Yep, which now they're going to have. Inbound. In yep, and Luke is coming back in, I think, and J Jacob Hamilton coming back in. And that was Ethan Turgeon going out. Yep. 
As now, here's the play. Here's another three. Nope, that doesn't go back in. Goes in and miss. All right, here's Luke. Oh, just had it. They almost had 53 seconds, and I'm pretty sure they called. And... Okay, I don't know what happened. Yeah, I have no idea what just happened for some reason. Okay, so St. Thomas got it back. Now, here's the shot two. Nope, that miss. Rebound by Ethan Johnson. Three. Almost close to 30 seconds on the clock. Here's Ethan. Oh, he almost missed, but it's a foul. And that's going to be called. As now Ethan's going to go back at the line, shooting two. It's just about 30 seconds in this yep. first half. And David's going to be One ready to come back in. As David PQ comes back in for Luke. And it's a free throw, it's good. Right. St. Thomas gonna continue this inbound. Alright. Here's the play. Oh, it's picked up. off. That was a good play. Here's Travis Wright. Oh, that's almost good, and I'm pretty sure that was a good backwards pick off, pick pass. Off, pick off. All right, right, just about. Oh, and David, nice, nice play. Oh, got it back and Zone rebound. Few seconds left. Oh, can he get the buzzard? No, it's not. Oh man, that was a close game. Couldn't quite do it. Yep, that was a close. And now S Summersworth is now back in the lead. As now, 44 to 36. Eight point game. And now we're going to be on the fourth quarter. Oh boy! We're coming down to the wire in this game. Summersworth, well, exactly. uh, I wouldn't say they're in control of it, but. Uh, but Summersworth they, they has there. continued to maintain the lead. Yeah. What's your, what's your impression of the game today, Ryan? Well, this is a very impressive job that Summersworth has been doing. Like, this, this is a good respect for senior nights. That's right. Senior night, we missed the uh, the presentation of the seniors at the beginning of the game. Yeah, I wish we got more coverage at that sort of time, but still, it's a good good sight of seeing the whole student section going insane. They really like it. <laughs> All right, it's now going to be St. Thomas getting it back. It was last eight minutes of play. Yep. Last eight minutes in the 1920 season. Oh, Ooh. and they call a foul, which, jeez, that's, I don't even say much about that. That's, uh, yeah, that's just going to be harsh. Yep. As number, uh, I think Jacob was saying, hey, you can't blame my sneakers. Come on, man. Yep. But a trip's a trip, right? Yep. Yeah. As nope, and basically during this, I'm pretty sure you have to shoot only one free throw because now they're at the penalty line. As whoa, bada geez. bing, bada bang, and I'm pretty sure. Oh god, I'm pretty sure he went down. Down hard. Yeah. Send, send out to oh, and that's to up and St. Check Thomas him out. Hopefully he's okay. Yeah, it's Nick Bryan. Yeah, he got hurt. Yeah, he got whacked hard. Okay, he's all right. He is all right. Yep. Okay, he's all right. Which now there's going to be a substitution. As 
now St. Thomas gets back with the inbound. Hey, thanks for holding down the fort there. I had to yeah. attend to a, 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 a mad dog that was in the uh, parking <laughs> back there. All right, here's the shot. Nope, that doesn't go. Ethan Johnson gets back the rebound. Here's Jacob Hamilton. Here's the shot. Oh, Ooh, taken away. Taken away, but, but I'm pretty sure. But no, foul. that's a foul instead. As now, as now we're going to get an inbound as David Piku will get it back. Here's right three. Oh, we almost had it. Oh, and I'm pretty sure that is. Oh, and I'm pretty sure that was out of bounds, but still, what a good play by Travis Wright. Yes. Some passes in to Diego Garcia. Yeah. Back to three. Sullivan. Nope, and rebound by Ethan Johnson as they got it back. All right. All right Jacob. Whoa, back. Oh, he almost okay. had the. He almost had it. All right, here's the shot. Nope, that goes miss as now as this is going back to Summersworth ball. All right, All right's gonna get it back. We're in six minutes on the clock. They really are trying to get back on this. Whoa, and, and that's gonna go back to Summersworth ball. That was almost picked off. Piku decides to inbound. Gets it to Ethan Johnson, to Hamilton. And Luke gets it back. David. Ooh, nice pass. Oh, and nope, just had it. All right. Oh, that's a three. Nope, that doesn't go. There's a three again. Nope. That's going miss. Triple rebound. Three and again. He finally the got third it. One falls. And Jimmy Sullivan. And number 30 of St. Thomas finally gets the score. And within seven points. Yep. Those threes can really change the momentum of the game. Yeah, they can, but still, this is not. So, no, this is not settled, that's for sure. Yep. Tight All right, battle. here's Luke, passes it to David. All right, here's the Hamilton. All right, back to Jacob. Still trying to control it. Right, passes it to Ethan. Here's the, whoa, and that's not gonna be good as that pass was incomplete. As, whoa, bad pass. As that's going to go th throwing right near to the exit. As Summersworth is going to get the ball back. As Jeremy gets back in. Love those nice little pass backs. As Jacob gets it back. All right. Here's Luke. Ooh, nice play. Here's Ethan Johnson. Ooh, he almost had it, but it was missed. Okay. Oh, there's a shot. Ooh, that was good play. That was tough. As Jacob Hamilton wants to get this back, and Oh, that was good crossover, and he got it. Whoa, Jacob Hamilton with a good crossover. That, begin, that brings Summerhead back to seven points up. Oh, and that's, that's missed, four minutes. but Ethan Johnson gets it back as Jacob Hamilton gets it in. Ooh. Broken up again. Yeah. So Thomas moving in oh, tight and, no. and, and it's rolls good. it in. 
Already see St. Thomas now getting ready to sub in more players as right Luke, back. Luke gets it back. Boy, he does not want to give up. Somerset just doesn't want to give up because this is their house, their nights. Just heavy guarding. Here's a three. Nope. That doesn't go. All right. Oh, and here's a play. That goes. Mm. Get it in. Inside work. As summer, and now timeout is called. This is a close game. It really is. It's going down to the wire. We've got about two minutes here. Yep. As now Summersworth wants to, and we got a nice good view of the person and with the announcement, Mr. Munson. Mm-hmm. He's been, he is a, just a, a rock here in Summersworth Athletics. Yes. Announcing so many sports. So many just sports, a, football to basketball to just about almost everything. I love seeing him around. It's yeah. just, uh, and now Summersworth is getting ready to get back in on the court. As this, I'm pretty sure, getting a nice good view of the assistant head coach. As again, we'll be seeing. Just under three minutes, yep. 2.49. As left in this game. And Summersworth is going to get it back. overtime. All right. Travis Wright. Ethan Johnson. Ooh. Ethan Johnson. Nice play with the post move. That Ooh, goes in. Beautiful. Luke. Got it. Yep. Love replay. it. Love it. Get back into real action here. Yep. All right, here's the shot. Whoa, and that's, and it's gonna be fouled as Nick Bryant is gonna go to the line, shooting two. Well, this uh, this fourth quarter has just been back and forth. Yeah, it has, and uh, all right, he made the first one. Here's the second. Oh, he misses. Summersworth's got it back. All right, Wright is gonna get it back. Here's David, Ethan. Here's the play. Whoa, and, oh, you gotta be kidding me. That was just a foul, and it's gonna be on Ethan Johnson again. Mm. Hard screen, an illegal screen, they're gonna call it. And it's gonna go back to St. Thomas as now two minutes left on the clock. It's an eight point lead. Eight point lead, and then Travis Wright gets it back. There's a shot. Nope, it's gonna be back. Sorry, six point lead, my math is uh, yep. oh. not the best here. Took the end of a long day. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, my excuse. Anyway, Summersworth is really starting to get back at this. They really want this win. All right, here we go. Oh, right, nice crossover. Ooh. Here's a play. Oh, nice play. As that's going to be a foul. As Luke is gonna go to the line, shooting two. He has to make these shots count. If not, St. Thomas will grab the rebound. Or not, but still, this is a big game. As now, Luke pushes it up. Here's the shot, good. As now, 54, 46, and now there's a... The minute 18, these last uh, last 
seconds, regardless of the outcome of this game, I yep. believe that Summersworth will control uh, it. And I believe they're looking at a looking for a playoff spot here at the yep. Jim McGlynn Gym. Yep. And they're gonna say that's gonna be Jacob Hamilton coming right. to the line. Yep, shooting that one for two. As now it, they're at they're at the bonus, which now. So I like his blue and white shoes. He's ready for home or away games. Yeah. Yeah, which is very interesting because we haven't seen a multicolor shoes at all, unless if you count the NBA. But however, ten point lead. The minute five. Four, three. <laughs> Just a minute left on the clock, which now this has to be close. Here's the shot. Bang. Man, St. Thomas really wants it back, but however, timeout is going to be called. But still plenty of time. Yep. Just under a minute. Yep. And uh, Summersworth up by eight points. Yep. Summer's Looking right. good for the home team, but this one is not over by any stretch of yep. the imagination. Not over by a long shot, but however, well, we anything can possessions. happen. That's right. Because I remember playing against Prospect Mountain. Yeah, that one of your, did you have a playoff game? I guess we didn't no, do playoff we did, games. Unfortunately, we don't do playoff games, and that was our senior for night. For Unified, yes. And basically what happened was is that that game was really close. And, and this was interesting. So the varsity basketball players, I think some of them knew that it was there. And actually, and then a few of them came to see my game a couple of minutes. Got Great. This. Good support from the varsity team for the unified team. Yep. And then got the last minute scored. And however, we won the game by just two points. I heard you had nailed one right towards the end. Yep. Way to go. Yeah, it was. Way to go. So now... Summersworth is inbounding this for All right, David is going to get ready. Up. Okay. Yep. And, ooh, nice, and a nice foul. pass and right into the backstop. And now I'm pretty <laughs> sure that is a foul, actually, because now, as now we are going to have another person on the line, as Jacob Hamilton will be shooting the shots. Already, St. Thomas is like four men. Defense to rebound. And that goes. Goes perfectly. Well, looking, looking pretty good for yep. the home team. The Hilltoppers with nine points. And now and ten, ten point points. Lead. And it's now going to be ahead by ten. St. Thomas is going to try try to get it back. Most of the clock there by letting it roll. Yep. And... Play. Four three. No. no. And that's gonna go back to St. Thomas ball. As now. Here's the inbound. Perfectly. Oh. Almost getting double team and now it's back to St. Thomas ball. So that's a uh, that's a toe technique, right? You throw it off the other. Yeah. Bounce it off the other yep. player. Oh, oh, here's a shot. Nope, it's rejected by Wright. And St. Thomas picks it up. Picks it back up. Coming down to the final moments. Yep. Here's the shot, Nick Bryant. Nope, and that's a foul again as Ethan Johnson again picks up the foul. You know, I think that was a calculated risk foul, but Still, Nick Bryan will have to head to the line, head for two. As he hits the first one. That brings them to brings nine. Them back to nine. Nine points down. Here it goes again. Eight points down. Yep. And now David Piku with the inbound, trying to find the open man. Here's Jacob Hamilton. He's going to get double teamed. Oh, and that's a foul, and he'll go to the line again. That was a nice play out there. And 
as now he's going to be the only person at the line. Everybody's going to go to the half court. Mm -hmm. It's now fifth, almost close to the end of the fourth quarter. And I got to say, this was a good job by Summersworth. They really did. They, did a, they uh, went into this. Uh, they were, had the. Oh. St. Thomas had the lead early, but uh, Summersworth kept in contention. Yep. And that's going to still remain St. Thomas ball. As now, the last seconds get ticked away. All right. Here's the play. Here's the shot. Nope, it's no good. No good as that's not going to make it. What a good play. That's the game. Yep, it is. It's Summersworth winning at 59 to 50. Boy, did Summersworth would always like that. As now, Summersworth will go to the playoffs. Exciting. And that game will be here this, uh, I believe this next Friday night, I believe. Yep. I don't know if we know the uh, don't know if we know the opponent just yet. Yep. Um, but I have heard that that game is uh, believe is scheduled for here at the Jim McGlynn Gym. Yep. Still remains the same. But and however, good game today, and thanks for joining us. And, and we'll catch you next time. Swan.